Hello everyone, Will here again for Mature Minded Gamers, and I am going to be taking a look today at Su Xiao for Super Fantasy Brawl, doing a deep dive into this character, looking at the cards that should be the finalized version for when this game releases this fall. I'm very much looking forward to it myself. I love how the game plays, I love the area control, I love how quick and fast and fun it is. So we're going to be looking at one of my all-time favorites today, your primary attack character, Su Xiao, the Jade Claw. The art looks absolutely amazing. I love how the artist Johannes Hedgson has taken this character and just kind of brought it to life. Oh man, it looks absolutely stunning. So Su Xiao has zero armor, but nine health, one of the highest in the game. So on his upgraded side, you notice that his armor and health does not change, but when he does upgrade, the adjacent enemies suffer minus one armor. That is huge, especially against characters like Dugran or Kilgore. So, man, your primary attack character really putting the pain on. But let's see how that's going to happen with his cards. So first up, we have a attack card here, and this one gives him one movement. It is range two with two power, and after the attack, you're going to be able to pull one. This is great at forcing a character off of a position. Uh, not the uh, not the, really the most powerful attack card, but a great way to area control. Next up, we have a focus skill card. This one gives him one movement, and your champions gain plus one power and plus one movement until the end of the turn another great starter card here which you'd want to start your turn with to give you extra movement and extra attack partnered with some of the other abilities this could be absolutely brutal brutal uh, i love it i love how he's not only is going to be you know just giving extra buddy you know extra focus to be able to do specific things but just a great card in general Next up, we have a Double Strike. It is an attack card. It is a melee attack, two power. Before the attack, you dash two, and then it's double. So, which is great, because you're going to be able to dash two, double damage. Basically, you resolve the, the, the damage twice, or the attack on the, on the character twice. And that is just absolutely powerful with two two power on the attack and it's just a potential of four damage on uh, on one simple card here so that is pretty powerful next up we have flash of jade two movement hitting three characters that are in a row here dealing bloodied now this is one of those cards that when you look at it be like well it doesn't seem oh my god wait it says bloodied what does bloody do again it basically takes the character's health halves it and that's how much dam damage it does rounded up and basically they are just halfway dead and that is huge for characters that have eight nine health just putting that much pain especially if those characters and the enemy champions are all bunched up together like that that could be it could be decimating to a team absolutely decimating and then next up we have revenge his reaction card after the attack, if the target was not taken out of action, the attack also suffers the attack damage. Not the attack power, but the attack damage. Wow. So if you suffered two damage on, you know, Su Xiao, you can just play this card, you know, use your use your blue core and put that damage right back on the attacker. And this is a great reaction card because it is a reaction card that that deals damage. And most of them are going to give you defense or, or movement or, you know, status effects. But this one does straight damage. I love it. I absolutely love it. And last but certainly not least, we have Pounce. So this one is going to, before the attack, jump three and then deal only one but then push one. So this is going to be great for getting him across the board, hitting a character, and then pushing them off of, the, off of an objective. Another great area control card for Su Xiao. And this is just another great example of the abilities that Susha has with not only being a great attacking character, but also someone that you don't want to 
you don't want to mess with and you don't want to be bunched up when he's on the board. So you've really got to watch what, you know, what, where he is and what your opponent may have, may have played already. So you can really plan ahead. Great character. Again, one of my favorites. I'm super, super stoked to get him to the table. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Su Xiao. Am I pronouncing the name wrong? You know, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. So please hit that uh, comment button and leave a comment for this video. Uh, also hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, I hope to see you guys sometime at the table for Super Fantasy Brawl. Uh, by the way, I'm taking a look at all this stuff on Tabletopia. So, you know, join our Discord. We'd love to have you play a game against us. So, all right, everybody, we will see you at the table.